RS Esports versus Fnatic. We'll see who's going to be able to come and take this series and push themselves forward to lower bracket finals. You get lost on that one. They're down on the bot. CMO into real danger. Just a stampede from KP, just keeping pace, and CMO gets brought down. Akashi trying to trade away there onto DJ. It's a slow old Rubik and eventually should be brought down. Unless KP, yeah, he was going to put his body in the way. To yeah, no way. He already had a fairy fire as well as the magic stick. And ooh, top lane. Yeah, Jin getting brought down there. Maybe a little bit of overextension. Bot going to try and turn around with the spirit siphon, but <laughs> nicely timed there. Gabby could not get the Jingu stacks online fast enough. Nice move by Bot getting him on the board. CML yeah. suffering again. Yeah, he's uh, Pentacle out right now. Wants to get his kill to DJ or at least grab it off the Ancients. Ooh. Okay, so the Ancients killed DJ first. So CML, he doesn't get any money, but he still gets the experience, right? Okay, I see. It's a, yeah, it's a, it's a quad. I see one Centaur, two Tomatoes, and a Seder. And uh, CML gets one, but might lose his life because of it. Uh, you got to be careful. Mac is actually here to back up his support. Gonna try and go onto DJ. Tornado does land. Cookie nicely timed as well. That should be a dead DJ. Is even Jinx Ooh, getting involved? But KP getting involved. Charge oh, wow. forwards lands on the two, and this could be devastating right now. Obviously, CML's already dead. They're gonna use a flame and lasso on towards Mac. Most use the onslaught from KP to slow them all down, but regardless, they're not gonna be able to find the kill on back, and the primal beast will die. Not too bad. Polaris, though, they are starting to take a bit of a desperate advantage. Oh, losing our Mel here is gonna be tough. That is really tough. The supports on the side of Polaris not falling back. And it looks like Box is in real danger right now. With the El Tumblr's toy forwards, gonna use the Flame and Lasso as well. There's all the lockdown spirit siphons are coming out from Bok. Is it enough to stay alive? Yeah, for a little bit longer, but all it does is delay the inevitable. All the good stuff. <laughs> all the good stuff. But back. Looks he's got the opening there on towards DJ. Morbid Kids is also reading and trying to spread the damage. Immediately, Shanyuel and Armel get on top of CML to avoid that damage, but still. Not gonna try and pull back, even the involvement of the Primal Beast, and what a fantastic turnaround coming out from Fnatic. They lose DJ, but happened. Armel, Charger falls there with the Firefly, but still no Blink Dagger right now to get on top of everybody. And the slow from the Scout Blast, keeping him at bay, but still Armel. Nice really timing. Caring. He's just charging for us, in comes the Meteor as well. We have a stolen run from DJ, and there's gonna be the Flame and Lasso. Charge through some KP with good land from Jing, trying to make some space, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Down goes Death Prophet, Jing just losing his life on top of everything else. Armel, is he going to be in trouble? He's fast. Windlace and looks like they, they spot him, but can they catch him? Yeah, there is going to be. Even the Mormons. Kisses gets committed. What a guarantee that that Batrider is dead for sure. <gasps> oh, his charge got cancelled. Nice of time there from Mac, and that is going to cause KP's death for sure. I mean, there's actually quite a lot of people rotating down right now. Five heroes from Polaris. They know that Wukong is down, and so is the uh, the lasso. So I guess this is a, this is an opening that they're willing to exploit. Yeah, it's going to go for it right now. Look how quickly these builders are dropping there. But even still, Ooh. in comes Fnatic. They want to try and defend it. Connection immediately on towards the life stealer. Can they keep him alive? It doesn't Ooh. look so. He's just gone. Being away from Gabby, allowing him to just run on in. Bok has to walk it off, and Fnatic say, yeah. You guys can leave. We've got your life sealer. That's all that matters. When I say that, and Polaris do actually go for this smoke. Oh, there's vision. Shing charge of high grade is underneath this ward right now. It's going to be a perfect opportunity. Lastly, could just get to leave before this fight even begins. One with Kiss is also raining out, but Armel pops the PKB. So does Gabby. This is a perfect Wukong's command positioning right now. I was getting low, but still with the heals. Everyone from Polaris has to try and run away, disengage outside of that radius, and somehow nobody actually gets picked off and punished for it. Januel in some danger right now. Drops the ultimate seed to do anything at all. Unfortunately, we will still die, but it is a trade of supports right now. Short range charge from KP. Gabby now getting beat into. He's trying to heal up with the uh, Jinku oh. stacks. Manchester to bring down Bok. And now Akashi maybe thinks he's brought, uh, over overstepped his mark. Tries to infest inside of Jing, but it does not last for long. Still end up dropping down. Akashi controlled up. Nice deafening blast from Mac, but it just makes no difference at all. And eventually, Mac will just be ran down. Five people dead there for Polaris. And somehow, Fnatic. Don't lose anybody. Different, these different directions. Everyone's got to exit the Wukong from a from different place. Oh, Armel, Mac. Sorry. Yeah, it's it's a free kill. They do commit two almost for that, but regardless, it's going to be tier two. Oh, actually, jumping forward, and KP found the other ones. Buyback forced out from Bot, but the Monkey King's trying to stand his ground right now. But Gabby might end up dropping. Has the Aegis at the very least. See if they can do anything with the second life. There is a Tenacleus is trying to make some space, but he will still die. Bok running around with the Exo. In comes the people with the KP, making good space with the charge. It's probably going to cost him his own life, but it gave the space for Gabby to disengage. Armel actually also being caught right now from the cold snap. Even whipped in place, trying to slow him down. Armel 
Nice. Finally able to get the BKB off. DJ there with the Tedakalisis thrown him backwards. And avenge. First try. It's still very. It's, you're still in quite a risk if you're playing. Oh, there's the jump you want. Oh, well, they found Bob. There's the Aeon Disc. There's a chance to try and turn this fight around. All the BKBs gave off. Gabby putting his armor down, forcing Gene to disengage. Unfortunately for Bok, he runs in the complete opposite direction. Trapped on his own. Oh, Akashi, Akashi! He just comes flying through the air. He's like, I want a bit of this action. He's trying to run away. He's probably pinging the hell out of CML right now for putting him in such an awkward situation. What? KP, what an armor. Locking everyone down. There's going to be the Infest trying to run away. Mac desperately getting into the base, but for now, just don't want to allow anybody to survive. Max is going to fall, Akashi with his rage off the of cooldown, trying to trade onto our male with a four star, so making a bit of space. The towers nearly finish him, but it's not enough. A buyback from Mac as well, but it doesn't do anything. Oh my oh. lord. And he loses his life, and for the last, they're like, yes, this is what we want to you know, throw our carry into. And <laughs> the moment that Kashi lands, he was like, no, 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 get me out, get me out, get me out. One lane of racks for Fnatic. Oh dear. Oh dear, if the Invoker dies. Uh, trying to get his gravel to Mac, but he's able to disengage this time. Meanwhile, Gabby changing over towards CML, but still KP just forcing back into the base where now slowing down the Primal Beast, but still with the four stuffs. He's able to disengage and just ends up being another free kill. And all of a sudden he's like, wait, what? Where the hell am I? <laughs> it's just thrown in deep. Meanwhile, another engagement going on right now. KP's on with this time getting this, uh, cut oh. down pretty damn short. And still, Gabby's taking a fair bit of damage. Manchester's getting the Wukong's command off at the very least. He's getting low. Just getting forced off around. But with it's the boundless, they're able to turn it around. And GG is cool. Polaris are done. And for good reason. And that is Fnatic taking the first game of this best of three. Very convincingly so. Game number two between Polaris Esports and Fnatic is now under a way. Final B is really limiting the aggressiveness here. They can still win it, but... I don't Up know. Top, back, Bok taking a heck of a beat. They're diving past the tower. Januel does have the Enchanted Mango to go for it to K, but holds on to it. But yeah, he knows he's dead. He's like, just kill me. Send me back to base. Full HP, full mana. Bok again. Two games in a row, not really having the... Oh, bottom lane, CML. He's taking a few hits, but so is DJ. Uh, Kashi does manage to land the leash and yeah, gets himself a nice little kill. Armel wants to get the angle to potentially get the whack onto Bok as well as the neutral creep. See if he can land it. Comes through, whacks the CML, does half his HP. Oh my lord. Poor old Dark Willow has to get himself away. The charge just gets cancelled there, lift up, but it doesn't even matter. Still, Armel finds the kill. Even Bok in some real danger. Death number four could be coming right now. He's trying to survive all the spirit ciphers. Januel just diving past the tower. This man is insane. Armel going to do the similar job, but at least he actually has the means to get the kill. Double kill there from Armel and fourth death for Bok. Meanwhile, that was going on down the bot lane. I think KP did end up dropping there to the slot, but looks like Xing also going to fall. TJ getting that kill. Not exactly what Fnatic you know, would, would, would have wanted, but getting the tier one bottom, it does open up the jungle a little bit for them. And he's going to go top to defend it. Gabby? He's trying to stand his ground right now and Bok. Oh no, this man just does not have a game. Xing will just safely TP out, realizing there was no cancels left. Even still, you know, if, if Slark's having to waste time in Tombstone, it just means that the Monkey King is set up for a bit, you know, a bit of a better engagement. Meanwhile, DJ potentially getting gone on top right now. Newcall gets the connection. Yeah, quick zaps, and they do bring it to his knees. I'm also getting involved. First of all, though, is off the mark. And Januel maybe sort of overcommitted. Wants to try and turn around. Does get a good amount of strength stalled away, but regardless, can't survive for long. But still, a lot of damage being done. Mac has an army of zombies after him. I think he might be able to get away. Can't say the same though for Armel, who does get brought down to the final quick storm. And Gabby potentially not even done. Wants to try and chase off the bot here. Primal Spring. We'll get a connection. One more whack. There's an extra kill there. Double for Gabby. Allowed so many pickoffs. Ooh, even maybe we try to hunt after Gabby. They do see him. They really get the, the tree cut there with the vision from the high ground. Terrorized lands. But Gabby's still alive for now. But he just can't survive long enough for all of that damage. Armel as well as KP getting involved. It doesn't matter. The fight taken underneath the tier 2 tower. Kashi able to get away with the stolen Illuminate. Gives him the heal. Unfortunately, it does not give enough towards Mac to survive. Oh, up top though. Potential grab here onto Bok. DJ's on the case. There is going to be the Yules, but it's immediately broken. <laughs> poor old Bok. He really cannot do anything this game. Try and do what he wants to do. Meanwhile, another little potential gank down here at the bot. KP wants to try and get himself away. Not going to make it. Will be a trade at the very least to CML, but hey, there is an offlaner just for a support, so it's still favoring Polaris in that respect. So maybe they want to try ganking Kashi as well. That's a difficult kill to find. 
Oh, nice jump in there from DJ. Actually gets the arm off. Miss Pounce trying to lock it down. The burst damage is there. Absolutely perfectly played. It's coming out from Fnatic in that gank. Let's see who's going to get fouled. Oh, not Bok again. No, he, missed, he managed to avoid the rock throw at the very least. And the TP rotation is coming in for the rest of Polaris. There is going to be the Bramble connection. On towards our mail, but DJ's in with the Pulverize. Terrorize wants to come out. Going to force away the Primal Beast. Stolen Pulverize just annihilating the big dinosaur, man. And Akashi, as you said, in the back lines, our mail able to just walk it off, though. Instead, Akashi going to chase after KP. I don't think he really has the means to lock him down any further. No, but it's still a nice move for Polaris, keeping their hopes alive, right? Like, if that was. That fight went in Fanatic's favor. It could have been really unfortunate for them. And KP, he's giving them a plus one. Yeah, steps out of position. It looks like Gabby actually gets involved to try and help out. Maybe he's overextended. Jumps himself right in front of Akashi's face. Slark building up so much how he stacks with the old activate. Gabby's just running around in circles like, someone get this fish off of me, please. But it's just not going to work. He will still die. At the very least, Fnatic were able to pick up Mac in the back. Um, make it a bit more difficult to actually lock oh. down the side of Polaris. Yeah, Polaris yeah. double leap use from Akashi. Gets the first game from Shanuel, but he was invinced up, so not many hits followed. But regardless, the nice Bramble, uh, Bramble connection will still find the kill onto the zombie. Actually drops the tombstone. No one is actually here to try and take this fight. Actually, I see that. Gabby jumps in, gets a nice bounders onto the three. DJ wants to try and charge through as well, but getting locked in place. Akashi just following through. Armel running around in circles. Fox is chasing after him there with the Spirit Siphon. It looks like Fnatic just in full retreat right now. Even it comes through, does a little bit of damage. Gabby. Gabby's in position. Yeah, he could pop the BKB. Thinking about popping out the Wukongs, but it doesn't matter. His back lines are falling apart. DJ, oh, he wanted to charge to the high ground, but it didn't quite have the range. And it looks like he will fall down as a result. So it ends up being a 3 for nothing shake there, going into the favor of Polaris. Uh, without Gabby, is it still something you want to do? Oh, he's going for it. They're jumping him. They need the follow up stun, it's going to be there from KP with the rock throw and everything else dumps on top of him. Akashi is brought down. Jin comes in to try and help out. Order, with the stolen Morms kids, he's doing a lot of damage actually towards DJ with the terrorized as well. Yeah, here. Somehow they couldn't actually finish off Jin, he's alive for now. Gabby trying to focus on towards Bob. BKB makes it pretty elusive. KP actually jumping over the wall, gets the stun connection on the CML, which allows them to burst him down. Now, even though it is the first one, which generally is there just to farm up, but they're just making sure that. Really? Yeah, he doesn't find much ever. Actually, yeah, he's going to fight Gabby right now. Obviously, he has the Aegis. Might be forced to. Uh, it's going to get popped. Can the rest of Fnatic come in to maybe turn this fight around? Deji into the background there, pulverizing on top of the Dark Willow. But now he's in some real danger. Bounders trying to make some space was just not enough. They still lost it. Januel trying to TP out, but he will get caught. But Max still hunting for more. He's all on the tail of our mail, but he doesn't actually want to complete the chase. So it's all just Gabby can't do everything on his own. Nothing is it? Doesn't feel like. Oh, here we go, mid lane. Oh, Mac. He's just been caught. Nice play once again from Fnatic, alright? Getting that easy pick off. Now they're going to look for more. Oh. Gabby right away on top of Kashi. He has Zombie still, but he will just leap on out. The Pulverize gets cancelled immediately there from the Rubik. Down he goes. Oh, nice curse, bro. He will complete from the Dark Villain. Yeah. Kashi able to just run himself away with the ultimate. It's just hilarious. <laughs> They go, wow! Okay. They do. That is it. I'm Gabby. a part of the, the audio. <laughs> Gabby jumping on in. Fight engaged. Akashi trying to be on top of the monkey, but the push actually pushes the Slark down to low ground. Force him to change targets right now. Meanwhile, DJ into the back. Boundless lands onto three. Ooh. Annihilates CML. Down goes Shing as well. Bok has to just run away with his BKB activated. And it looks like that is the end of the fight. So two supports down there for Polaris. I say that and. And they're just interested in more trying to go for a kill. They see Bok immediately. Blink. Gabby is on top of there with the Blink Tagger. Terrorizer is going to land out. Forced the monkey away, but four stuff. Pushes him up to the high ground. It's pretty good space. Bounce gets stolen away. So much stock control from Gabby. Four stuff after four stuff. What an absolutely fantastic dream core that comes up. Where is the follow up? Absolutely none at all. And now Bok's in real danger. Trying to get himself away. Wukong's command gets committed. And there's nothing Polaris can do but sit back and watch as their off laner dies again. Uh, if Fnatic, if this wasn't such a long rush, they would have been able to get it. So, I look for it. Oh, Bob Lane! Mac! Yeah, he's in some real danger right now. And that is a very nice pick up there. The initiation from DJ KP. sets up there for Armel to come on in. Really nice fight. Yeah, Kashi working on Shanuel right now. It doesn't look like there's anything else Fnatic can do. I mean, there is the Bounders trying to make space. Oh, jump aggressively up to the high ground there. The leash actually lands on towards the Monkey King in the trees right now. KP though, able to uh, leap away with the old Ogre Club. And Roshan up in five seconds. But Fnatic looking for more. Charge forwards there from DJ. 
Boundless does it. land on CML as well as the charge. There's a lot of damage, but still with the Shadow Realm, gonna try and disengage. And with the TP, not gonna get out. Too much area damage to deal with. Wukong's command will just appear really, really quickly. And it could be what they need to actually start swinging these fights even more dominantly into their favor. Meanwhile, Akashi has got another grab there onto Armel, just held up, can't get away. Where's the four staffs or anything? There isn't any. KP did actually end up popping them. Unfortunately, that was getting killed. So now, potentially D DJ in some real danger. Akashi just chased it after right now. Pop even going to pop the BKB. Meanwhile, though, Gabby actually jumps into the back lines himself. Nice bounders onto do. Jinx immediately dead. Pop trying to run away. But look at all the damage from the Wukong's command. Does so much work. And Cassius Wells back. Doing what they can to the back lines. DJ still just standing his oh, ground. Gets a pole price off with the Mormon's kisses. Absolute perfection. Perfection coming out there from Fnatic. Incredible stuff. Looks like Gabby's not even done yet. Trying to hunt afterwards back. Unfortunately, the boundless misses. And that's probably going to be the last attempt there to look for that kill. Instead, they're going to go for the Roche. So two two things you can uh, you can survive against Fnatic if they want to make use of this Aegis. They oh wow big jump. Oh, Akashi side I guess maybe cancelled out there from the purge. KP now get focused into the stat fires is in full retreat. Meanwhile, Gabby doing his own work at the back of the line. Jin cannot last for long. Block forced to pop his BKB and disengage. Meanwhile, KP is still alive. Mac also getting involved. We have basically made him for Armel. Glimmer of Cape keeping him alive for now and just cannot finish off this damn oh. snap fire. Now he's made it back to the safety of the rest of his team. And uh, Cash is in some real danger right now. Lost stun control coming through. Devil of damage actually burst. He's alive for now. He's just so mm. close. Eventually it falls. KP is still alive. The Glimmer Cape keeping him up with the heals coming in. And it looks like Mac, unfortunately for him, no chance of escaping himself. Three people dead there for, uh, for Polaris. Siege just keeps on going. Tier 3 is gone. Melee Barracks about to fall. But with the Glyph, we're going to try and delay this for as long as possible. Oh, meanwhile, though, Rubik just dead. <laughs> Can't do anything about that one. Guys, he's still going to be back up in about five seconds, and Fnatic will be able to get this on the way out. Oh, the back door in the last second, but it's down again. Yeah, it doesn't last long. Dreamcore, though, gets it connects onto three with the Terrorize. Cash is here. There from the Monkey King to avoid it. Cash is back up. The melee barracks will eventually fall down. Cash, they try to get involved. Nice bounce shot for Gabby to disengage. Shanwell. Four staff as well to fall back, but doesn't it feel like really want to fall back regardless? Think about trying to poke and prod if they possibly can. And jump by DJ. Now jump in, DJ, got the lockdown on towards the Dark Willow. More kisses is raining in, CML can't withstand it. Gone again. Even Bok in connection and Boundless Strike once again. Finding pick off after pick off. And just when it looks like Fnac can try and disengage, they just come flying back in, take another successful fight. Yeah, if Akashi had like. 50 essence stick sh essence shift stacks. He might consider. He might be able to do something with this, but nope. Fnatic, they get all they want. They, move. they really have. Uh, it's just 38,000 gold lead now. 46 minutes in, and you can see the potential of megas coming. Six, uh, 30 seconds without the death profit. Akashi's into the back line. They've already popped his over right now. Want to see if they can get a grab on to either the snap or the undying, but it's just not going to work. Gabby though, junk it out the Wukong's command, and that's just going to force everyone from Polaris to disengage and. Is there any way they could fight into this ult with the stop Megas? No, nope. I don't think there is. And Gabby could just refresh and throw it out again if he wants to. No, he just jumps oh, in aggressively. Yeah. Oh my lord, the double Wukong's just, or oh, double Bounder, sorry, annihilating the support duo. Even a cash is getting picked off there in the back lines. And I think that is just it. No buybacks remaining, and GG is cool. The Polaris tap on out, and Fnatic clear this series in a clean 2 0. Was well, just this game wasn't close, you know. Game one, I think both games Fnatic just looked really strong. Giving away the Monkey King to to uh, Gabby twice was just very risky for them. Yeah.